751 KTRS, it's Jay Kanzler and Kelly Jackson. It has been more than two years since the violence in Ferguson. Mm-hmm. Hard to believe. KTRS Jill Enders has prepared a story on the Ferguson effect. 2016 certainly has been a year filled with civil unrest. It has spread like wildfire, gripping our nation with devastation. Places such as Louisiana, Minnesota, Dallas, and North Carolina. It wasn't so long ago that we encountered that turmoil in our own backyard, the crisis in Ferguson back in 2014. It served as a catalyst for other cities to voice concerns of social injustice, Many feared that the North County town would never recover from the events of 2014, and from those events came the Ferguson effect. It was a phrase coined by St. Louis Police Chief Sam Dotson. The idea that widespread criticism and scrutiny of law enforcement has caused police officers to back down resulting in a spike in violent crime throughout the country. What if the Ferguson effect could take on a whole new meaning? A positive one, one that implies healing. After all, Ferguson has rebounded since those dark days of 2014. That seems to be a sentiment shared by many of those in Ferguson. Most stories, when that happens, the community begins to decay. But that was not the case here in Ferguson. We are thriving. We're just moving forward, and we're getting new businesses. They've done a remarkable job in making changes. Of course, struggles still exist in Ferguson with its budget woes and the controversy surrounding the consent decree. We got to get this decree signed. We got to make things better for each other. However, healing is still evident. Most communities that have gone through what Ferguson have gone through would have thrown in the towel and said we give up, but our residents stay resilient. Even when the Code of Conduct Ordinance was put to the test at the first council meeting following its passage, full-blown chaos did not erupt. Instead, a birthday party broke out for Jerry Jasper, an outspoken but a seemingly much-loved resident who often voices her opinions at the council meetings wearing a clown nose. We'd like to say happy birthday. We appreciate you, and we really do love you, and you make a difference in the city council meeting. The 65-year-old lady chose to celebrate her birthday at that council meeting, where she shared a poem she composed about her hopes for the community. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Look at your words and your heart. What do you really want for Ferguson? Choose to be good and kind. That's a start. The violent protest of 2014 impacted businesses, many of which were destroyed. But many of those businesses prevailed, and even new businesses set up shop in Ferguson. Jeff Akers opened his computer business along Florissant Road just this past April. That well, was a good community. They got a lot of stuff going on here. They got 29 lofts going in across the street, four businesses in the basement, brick oven, pizza place going in. Papa John's has opened up. I mean, we're doing good around here. And the racial divide and distrust of law enforcement seems to be on the mend. I do think, even from the African-American community, it saddens us that people think the answer is shooting cops. That is not the answer. Perhaps all of these stories that develop from the embattled town can serve as an inspiration of hope for other cities in distress and give a new meaning for the phrase, the Ferguson Effect. Jill Enters, KTRS News. Interesting story from Jill Enders. Yeah. Uh, we talked uh, 
uh, a lot on this show, and, and I was actively involved. My clients were up in Ferguson. I stood in front of the stores. You were in the middle of it. I, uh, I stood out there many a night uh, when the police would not uh, mm -hmm. protect, not because they didn't want to, mm -hmm. because they were told not to. Um, and, you know, I still go up there quite a bit. And I'm glad to hear in Joe's piece a lot of positives coming out of mm -hmm. Ferguson. And I would say generally as it relates to the folks that I know along West Florissant, and um, they would probably agree that um, things are better. Um, the business is probably back to where it was um, pre-November uh, of mm -hmm. 2014. The one thing that um, it wasn't addressed in Jill's piece, and, and, and maybe that's because she was focusing on the positive, and I, I hate to be all negative, but you know, there was so much discussion right after Ferguson about redevelopment, um, mm -hmm. about bringing in you know, a, a boys' club and a girls' club and, 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 and you know, maybe a community center and some things and really some, some big plans. Um, and none of that, none of that ever came to fruition. Um, you know, there was no help out of Jefferson City. There's really almost very little help out of St. Louis County. Some private money came in, but really, um, you know, the, the, all of those big ideas that really could have made a, you know, used Ferguson as a, a way to uh, really positively develop that area of St. Louis County just didn't happen. And I'm going to stay back on the positive side and then go back to the, well, I know we have to break pretty soon, but... Um, like you were saying, some of those companies like Enterprise and um, some of the other companies. Did Centene went up yeah, there. Centene. Oh, I mean, the, you, the money yeah, that they, yeah, you know, absolutely. But, they put in some money to help those businesses get back mm -hmm. on their feet. And that was a positive. Yeah. And outside of Ferguson, there are still some of those communities that are still bilking people, right. you know, which is a shame. Um, and I think some of those other communities are, are, are being forgotten. Right. The one thing about Ferguson that uh, should never be forgotten and should always be realized is that it's a very positive community. It is a great community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, what went on there was really um, centered in one part of the community. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was unfortunate. It was unfortunate for Ferguson as a whole to get this reputation of, oh, you mean you're from Ferguson? Oh, you live in Ferguson. Ferguson's right. a great place to, yeah. to live and work. Yes, absolutely. All right. It is. Meet me. <laughs>